Hey you guys. So it's a Sunday, so happy Sunday. I'm out on a walk as you can see. I'm by myself today because uh, we had some work done in our apartment earlier this week. And so it's pretty dusty in our, in our apartment. So Ron is home cleaning and doing laundry and stuff. Um, he normally does the laundry anyway, but he wanted to, you know, clean and dust and stuff today. So um, he said he would come out later once he finished if it's still light out, which it probably will be because we're in daylight savings. So yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's so windy though, and I'm not dressed appropriately for this weather. I think it's only 40 something degrees, like 36 degrees. And um, if the wind weren't blowing, it would be perfect. But with the wind, it makes it a little cold. I do have on a fleece, but I don't have any anything on under the fleece. So it's a little burr out here. But I'm in this nice little area. See the water. I just came from the grocery store and I got a, um, a box of grapefruit for 50 bucks. They were almost uh, 50, uh, almost a dollar a grapefruit because, actually they were a dollar a grapefruit, I, just about. I got 60 grapefruit for 50 bucks. I cleaned out the whole produce section and I, the guy would just finished stacking it all neatly. And I said, can I have a box? Because I'm gonna take all of this and he started laughing he was like all right <laughs> and i took all of it i left two grapefruits on the thing on the stand hopefully you guys can hear me with the wind but it is a beautiful day nonetheless even with the wind blowing i'm not doing the full trail today because like I said, I'm not dressed for it. Once I get around to the other side, if I'm feeling warmer, then there's a part in the trail where I can take the long road or the short one. So that'll be determined by how warm I am by the time I get over there. I've never been over here before. There's like a little water area. It's full of leaves and algae right now, but there are steps there. So I bet kids play in that in summer. I know I would if I were a kid. Hey, I'd, I'd play in there now, actually, <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> I love getting in water. <sighs> and now I'm walking up a steep hill. You know, that's my, my MO when I'm doing a, a walk. Gotta get the hills in. Buns of steel. <laughs> Remember those videos? Buns of steel. <laughs> and abs of steel. I still have an abs of steel DVD. I'm not using it. <laughs> Maybe someday. <sighs> I went out with my brothers last night <sighs> and had a beer. And what else did I have? I had a veggie burger. <sighs> and uh, <laughs> so today, I'm back on my raw and my juicing. Hi. <clears throat> Just trying to catch my breath. So yeah, I'm back on my juicing today. And raw eating and I found that giving myself that leeway to say 80 20 or 90 10 I stick to 
I stick to it more. Because I feel like I'm giving myself the choice back and not being as restrictive. And in reality, I always have the choice. But when I say 100% juice or 100% raw, I fight that in myself. And I'm more likely to come off of it. But mainly, I've been sticking to raw and like 5-10% cooked during the week. And then on the weekend, if I have an engagement or if I just feel like having something, I'll have it. And that's been working for me. I feel good about it. I don't feel like I'm failing or letting anyone down or letting myself down. I feel good with my decisions and where I am right now. I know that, you know, these things take time. And on my timeline today, it came up that a year ago today, I dedicated myself to juicing more frequently. So I've been juicing totally um, for about three years, but it's been a full year where I've juiced every single day, today. And I just took some stock in that and looked back on some of my notes and I saw that I made a lot of improvements. not in the weight department per se, but in other ways. And there's lots of ways to judge your progress. And one of those ways for me, has been less mucus. I noticed that my face is thinning out more, so it's not as puffy as it was. I sleep better. My sleep is amazing. My hair is growing like wild weeds. I have to cut my hair because I like to keep it shoulder length. So I have to cut my hair every month. And the back I noticed was like down to like the bottom of my bra strap. So I had to cut that. And I have to cut my nails every week. Oh, the wind is gone. So I can open up a little. <laughs> um, what else I had reoccurring ankle pain from an old injury like I sprained my ankle years and years and years ago and if I walk a lot or do a lot of jumping and stuff it usually flares up I don't have those flare-ups anymore I do feel a little tinge in it every once in a while but it doesn't stop me from doing stuff like it used to So what else? Um, the knee pain is not as bad as it used to be. And I'm trying to think of everything. Um, so I used to have really bad knee pain. It kind of runs in the family. We've all got bad knees and it's like a running joke in our family that we all have bad knees. But you know, we know that a lot of things that are hereditary are really based on similar actions and inaction. But yeah, me and all of my brothers, my parents, my nephew, even the people who are slim and trim and athletic have knee problems. So that's like, um, we keep passing down that damaged DNA, right? But my knee hasn't bothered me since, it hasn't bothered me in at least a year, at least, if not longer.
I had slightly high cholesterol. Not enough to go on any type of medication, but enough for my doctor to mention it. At my last blood work, which was in October, that was no longer an issue. I also used to have um, a problem with, a, a serious problem, like my numbers were in the red for low, good cholesterol, which is a product of not getting enough exercise and movement. And I'm sure food related as well. That number is going up, which is good. That number should be up. And that was in October as well. My blood pressure was a little elevated, but honestly, I think that, that I attributed that to um, my nieces and nephews living with us because ever since they moved out, I'm not having that issue anymore. So those kids were making my blood boil. <laughs> they really were. sit here for a minute because the sun is right there it's right there so I'm just gonna soak up the sun because it's so beautiful I'll show you the area again from my seated position you see the sky look at that look at that when the sky is so blue and then you have those nice puffy clouds they aren't as puffy as I like but I'll take it <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna go and just sit here for a little while and enjoy the weather and although the wind is starting to pick up again I've decided to go ahead and walk the whole thing Because while I'm moving, I'm pretty warm. It's not bad. All right, you guys, have a good day.